I almost forgot to record this bit. What is the connection between Midnight Oil's Blue Sky Mining and Amel and the Sniffer's Comfort to Me? It is that they both won the bands, their respective bands, the ARIA Award for Best Group uh, in the year 1991 and the year 2022. So there you go. Hope you guessed it. On with the show. <laughs> Hey VC, Plastic Eric, Plastic Sandwave Cole. It's that time again. Time for another collection connection. The game is just an excuse to talk about music. That's a game that I play with my brother Bryce. His channel is Good Show Potsonby. Every Monday, I talk about an album. He finds a connection to that. He talks about an album from his collection. Then I talk about an album from my collection that connects to that album. I'm every Monday, he's every Thursday. You try to figure out what the connection is. And Murdoch didn't mess around on this one. He actually made it so that uh, I think he answered that pretty quickly. Um, I think he waited a little bit to give some other, somebody else a chance. But uh, basically, um, he got it for you guys again. Um, I'm trying to think what the score is. I'll try to put it to the side here if I can remember what it is. Because I am kind of on a quick schedule here. I'm going to be out of town when this actually shows. So uh, I'll still try to figure out who it is that gets the correct answer. But once again, Murdoch, Murdoch's Music Minute. I mean, we're sending so many people over to this guy. It's crazy. These shout outs are really, really helping his channel. Because we're such a big channel ourselves. The last album that my brother showed was Midnight Oil's Blue Sky Mining, um, kind of a kind of a classic album in my mind. Um, though I know Diesel and Dust more than I know this album, it, uh, it I was surprised how well I remembered some of the songs that came later. I never had it on on CD. I don't think I might have had it on. Uh, on album before my albums got gone but uh, I seem to re remember almost all the songs um, Blue Sky Mining is the one I remember the most that was all over the radio that was their big hit that they made um, though I think their other hit from their first album was a little bit bigger but uh, other than that yeah I really like that album not one that I'm necessarily looking for but it is a good album so the album that I connected to Midnight Oil's Blue Sky Mining is Ghost Imperia. Uh, pretty good album. I believe it's his last studio album. He just put out, not very long ago, an EP. Um, and uh, I got this last year when I was in Las Vegas. Uh, I saw it in there and I figured I'd pick it up. I know he's not considered metal really, but for the most part, um, I think he's pop metal. Uh, he's definitely harder. I know people who like more mellow music find he's a little bit too hard. But people who like metal find him a little bit too soft. He's right in the middle there. I mean, he's Swedish. He knows how to get those good hooks. Um, he knows how to make things melodic, harmonic, all that kind of stuff. Um, I like his songs, and I like it when he does his covers, too. On this particular album here, we got Imperium. Casaria is a song I like on here a lot. Watcher in the Sky is one that I like. Oh, Call Me Little Sunshine, that's a good one. Uh, this one here that I have, I believe it's on colored vinyl. Yeah, I got this one. It ended up on silver. Very nice. I, don't, I think that's the only silver one that I have. Um, again, a little bit controversial. I guess the guy's name is uh, Tobias Forge, and um, you know he, his backup group is basically the Faceless Ghouls. That's what it is. So I guess he changes those guys out, like you know you change your underwear, and uh, some of them haven't been too happy about it. 
And so they kind of, that's how he, it, everybody found out it was Tobias Forge, was the fact that uh, some of his old band members, I guess, knocked him out. But if you get a chance, check out that album. Most of his albums, I think, are pretty good. Especially check out like his cover albums and things like that. But until next time, I don't think you can get Midnight Oils, Blue Sky Mining, and Ghost Imperia and figure out.